Welcome guys to Last Call Productions presents Unboxing, the show where we take the box at hand, open it up, see what's inside of it, and see what it's worth. My name is Craig Perales, and on today's episode, we are opening up a comic mystery box from Torpedo Comics. This is the Green Goblin mystery box. Now, when you order it, this box is a hundred dollars, and there was only fifty made, so only fifty out. In circulation now when you pop them open the general value inside is going to be about a hundred dollars you know pretty much what you're paying for for said box but there's a grand prize winner and what you have a chance to get is the amazing spider-man number 14 which they have at a 5.0 which is the very good or fine condition and they show it that it's retailed to them at twenty three hundred dollars now this is the first appearance of green goblin this is the 1964 silver age comic written by stan lee and it's inked by steve ditko and this is also one of the i believe the first battle between spider-man and the hulk so they have it listed at 2300 dollars um we like to look at a couple other sites like comics price guide and ebay and key collector to kind of um see what else is going on in terms of how, what it's selling for. So uh, looking at eBay, you know, they have it like there's a 1.8 that's uh, CGC at 860. So it's fair to keep in mind that the book you're going to receive if you win it is just a raw copy at 5.0. So uh, scrolling through the eBay, the closest one I think I found was a 5.5 graded, which someone's selling at 4,000. Uh, there's a 1.0 selling at 1,400, a 2.0 selling at 1,699. So uh, a 2.0 at nine at 2000. So the book is worth a lot, um, just not quite as much as what they Torpedo Comics has at the 2300. Because when we look at, let's see, like Key Collector, they have it as low as 700 dollars, but on a very high end at 6k. But so the closest one we can compare it to is what Comics Price Guide has, which is the 5.0 raw at 1380, and they have a graded copy at 15. 52 so uh let's open it up let's see what we got hopefully it's a winner but if not what we're more keen on looking at is the what's actually inside of it and see if what we got is close enough or exceeds the hundred dollars we spent on the box so let's pop it open and they do come very well packaged so if you guys are interested in getting them torpedo comics has been doing pretty much a daily box giveaway like this that you can sign up for and they're all really cool. They range from $25 to $100. I believe they may have a few that are higher than that, but you'd have to check and see. So let me move the box here. And so if you win it, what they do is they put a photograph in your in your uh, package here. So you don't actually, it doesn't come in it. You'll, you'll do is you'll get the... Uh, You'll get the picture, and then you'll get a hold of them, and they'll get it to you. So, let's see what we got. <clears throat> Looks like we got a lot of a lot of good stuff here, right, you know, boy. All right, so. The first book we have here is The Amazing Spider-Man. Um, what do we got here? Web of Carnage, part two of four, which they have valued at $45. The next book we have here is, it's a uh, virgin cover, so off the top of my head, I don't recognize it instantly, but they have it at a $20 mark. And at the end, we're going to look all these up and I'll give you all the exact name and prices of what we find online. Again, another virgin cover of um, what looks like an X-Men storm book valued at 25. <laughs> the next book we have here is a The Invincible Iron Man valued at $50. This is the variant uh, 500 edition which is the Joe uh, Quesada variant. Uh, next we have, uh, let's see here, Fantastic Four 219, which they have valued at $15. 
and they have it marked at an 8.5. Next we have uh, Moon Knight, number 18, which they have valued at $15 and a 7.5. Next is Spawn, number 307, which they have valued at $10 in a 9.0 condition. Next we have, let's see here, Metal Men, number 20, which they have valued at $10, which is a 2.0 condition. So we actually got quite a lot here. Next is... Superboy number 141, which they have valued at $10 and 4.0 in condition. And last we have Gen 13, issue 5 I believe here, at $10 at the 9.2 condition. So I'm going to uh, pause it for a quick second. We're going to look them all up. We're going to see what other places have them valued at and see if it actually hits that $100 mark if it falls a little bit short or if it goes a little bit over. Unfortunately, no winner here for the Green Goblin Mystery Box, but we'll check it out and see what we got for it. So be right back. Welcome back, guys. Uh, so we took a pause, took a minute to look up all the books, and what we normally start with is Comics Price Guide, and that really shows a good base value of what each of the comic books are going to be worth. But eBay is also a really good place to check out the buyer's market to see what people are actually spending on them. So with the dollar amount that I'm going to give you, know that that can always go up or down, you know, depending on if you're selling it as a buy it now or you're going to start a bid. So the base value is what we like to go with and then you can kind of take it from there. So the Gen 13 number five book that they had at $10 uh, when we looked it up, you know, is only $3 at the 9.4 condition. Uh, Superboy 141, which they have selling at $10 uh, at the 5.0 condition, you know, is a $4.80 comic. Spawn 307, which they had at $10, is $3 at the 9.0 condition. Uh, Metal Men 20 is at, they have at $10. I found for $5 at the 2.0 condition that they have this listed for. And then we have uh, Moon Knight 18, which they have listed at 15, which is $1.50 in the 7.5 condition. We've got Fantastic Four 219, which is they have at $15, which I saw for $4 at the 8.5 condition. And here's the interesting one is the Invincible Iron Man uh, 500. This is the uh, Joe Quesada edition. This is only one out of 150 and they have it on the 9.0 condition now the book that they listed for torpedo comics is at 50 what i saw was between the 8.0 and the 9.0 condition they had it around um it was like 80 to 100 bucks so if you're going to average it and be in the 90 this one actually is worth more than what they've actually listed it as and if we're already looking at a 90 dollar book then we've pretty much made our money back so far with the hundred dollars we've already invested into the box itself. So that's you know a really cool one to see. Uh, this one that I actually didn't recognize off the bat. This is actually Thor 10, um, which they have listed at twenty bucks. This was the exclusive Ken Lashley nullified virgin variant. Um, they have it. There's no marked condition. Generally, what they'll do is they'll put a condition on the back of the board so you can see what it's at. This one's actually blank, but it looks fairly good. I'm no expert. I'd say it's probably around the eight, you know, or higher condition and online that shows for to be about 12 to $15. So, uh, this one, which another one, when I first opened it, couldn't tell right off the bat what it was from is uh, Marauders number 15. They have it listed at $25. Again, there's no condition listed on the back. And when we found it, we found that this one actually checks out 25 even at the um, which looks pretty good at the 9.0 condition. I don't see any big marks on this So I'm gonna assume that it's probably fairly close to that and the last one we had was amazing spider-man 410 which was really out of everything I looked up the biggest key issue which was the first appearance of Spider carnage they have it at $45 at the 8.5 condition uh, we found it as high as you could get it as 
is $22. So once we added it all up, it came out to about $173 worth of value in these comics. So you compare that to the $100 that we invested in. Um, it, you know, you walk away, you know, I, you know, I think feeling comfortable with what you got. Now, whether or not, again, you got to keep this in mind if you're trying to sell it. If you're going to sell it, are you going to make that much exactly? You know, maybe, maybe not. That's on you and who you're selling to, whether that's online or to a private party. But overall, you know, I like a lot of the covers that I got and I'm really happy with the Invincible Iron Man that I got that values at around $90, which essentially paid for the box itself self so i'm super happy with it guys so let me know in the comments down below what you thought of that did i miss anything in terms of value was i completely off on something so guys if you want to follow us on instagram you guys can check us out at last call productions if you guys want to follow us on twitter follow us at uh, last call pro dz if you like the video hit like hit subscribe and check out all the other channels and shows that we've got with this page if you guys are interested in following me on twitter or last call uh Instagram and Twitter. I'm simply just at Craig Perales. So that is the end of this episode, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, happy hunting.